hello guys welcome back once again to ike software original and i welcome you all to my channel before we get started um don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos all right um today we are going to learn about the property section or the property page so let's see um how it looks like we created a new project and then this is our form that we got right we created a new project and this is um what we got so on on, on your um right corner side of your screen you can see that we have the properties right here if you can't find it you can go to windows um you can go to view then you you go to properties right there where is it okay property window that is um the f4 okay so let's drag this up okay so that is it so let's see on the property panel we are going to work along with it so that um we can get to know um how they all works right so on this form all the properties will be displayed here so we have the um the back color of this form you can decide to work along with the back color of the form and then it will work perfect and then we have the back image you can decide to choose an image for the bag for the background and it will work as well when you are importing an image then it is necessary for you to um, you know work along with the background image layout either center stretch or zoom or the other the other stuff but if you are not importing any image then it, there is no need for you to work along with this and then we have the Kesa. what Kesa do you want it to appear on this form when you you just um, hover the mouse on that and that one too you will see all the cases here and then you can um, you know work along with one of it yeah and then we have the four color the four color is um, the text color that will be on um, that will be working on it so let's see for ourselves let's try to choose let's say um, dark red and let's see so any any text which is related to this um, will kind of look like red um, on that so yeah that is how it, that one also works and then we have the form border style um, the form border style we have size we have um, the rest and then we will be working along you can see that this is um, sizable uh, um, you can freely size it so that work along with the form border style right here so we can decide to, to choose none and it will just remove everything you can decide to choose fixed single and you can't enlarge it when you have started it and then we have a uh, fixed 3d this is how it's going to look like um, then we have fixed um, fixed dialogue that is how it's going to look like and then we have um, sizable and then we have fixed two window and then we have um, size to um, sizable to window they all work the same and then when we come here right to left is no and then um yeah you can decide to work along with it you can decide to say true and um you can see what happens and then the test on this is this is the test that is the form one so you can see that it may be my um first project and it will um just reflect here for you that is it and then um use case weight case you can decide to use true or false and they all works on how you want to do it there are a lot of things up here and i want us to learn how to use the most important ones um you can log the form so that um yeah you can decide to choose some languages for the form so that it will just reflect on that and then we have the layout and then the other stuff auto size and then start position you can decide to start the software in the center um, screen of it and then it will work and then we have the window start a uh, window states window state you can use minimize you can use maximize and as soon as you start it you see that it will maximize to your screen and then it it is working perfect you can decide to choose that now I will go in for normal um, yeah keep pre um, keep preview and other stuff now we have the control box right so let's quickly go to um, our let's quickly go to um, the form border style right and then let's choose 
um, fixed single then let's go back to our um, control box we can decide to choose false and then it will remove every control box here and yeah then we can decide to choose the icon right here by choosing the icon right there so that when you click it will just ask you to locate where your icon is and it will just um and remember bear in mind it all it it's only um it is only accessible to ico files that is dot ico icon files okay so now the maximize box you can turn it to false and then you see that it is not enabled right there it is not enabled you can't do it anything okay then um the minimize box as well you can turn it to false but as soon as you turn it to false then there is no need for you to use minimize and maximize right but i think when you turn the maximize to um through it will just bring up but only the minimize which you, which will be not working so you can do that by saying false and then you can work along with the opacity it is 100 percent you can decide to choose 50 percent and then it will work show icon on taskbar you can decide to show icon on your taskbar you can decide to show icon or not to show icon that also it works perfect and then you can see that my my icon is gone and they all work the same all right guys so let's see how it works like and um that is how it, it looks like now you can see that the opacity is kind of working quite well yeah that is it so guys um we shall meet once again on our next lesson which will be the upgraded version of it so until we meet again have a nice day and bye bye